Oh man, Season 9 of Fortnite introduced some crazy big changes to the game. Can't wait to see what they have in store for Season 10. We vaulted the whole game. Am I a joke to you? Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory! At this point, literally the only thing older than Dusty Divot. You know, come to think of it, Fortnite is a lot like YouTube. It's a treadmill of constantly having to put out new content. And so it's back! for season nine. Actually, I shouldn't say it's back because it never really went away. Honestly, it'll probably never go away at this point. 50 years from now, my children's children's children will still probably be learning all the latest dance moves from Fortnite. Look at granddaddy. He can do the Fortnite dance. He can floss. That makes me hip and cool and young, right? I'm still relevant, aren't I? Please tell me I'm relevant. Who am I kidding? The floss isn't relevant as I film this thing. Anyway, with this new season, we have ourselves a new battle pass, and most interestingly of all, a new trailer. The Season 9 trailer starts where Season 8 left off, with the island's volcano erupting, leaving Jonesy and Peely to flee its destruction and take safety in a bunker. I gotta say, though, they lucked out because this bunker is filled with arcade machines, a DJ turntable, a home gym, pretty much everything you could possibly want when waiting out a disaster. Well, everything except for one t tiny little detail, a fully stocked fridge. The fun seems to come to an end when they open the refrigerator door and all that greets them is an empty tin can. Cut to a significant amount of time and beard growth later, when the door to the bunker finally opens and Jonesy steps out into the light. Based on his appearance, it seems like razors were another thing that they forgot to stock in that underground bunker. Anyway, Jonesy has survived, but as we take a closer look at the cup that he's drinking out of, we notice a conspicuous conspicuous lack of large banana friend in a conspicuous presence of banana friend smoothie. Though Peely doesn't seem to mind all that much given that he's smiling even as Jonesy takes a sip out of his still living body. Anyway, while they were trapped in the bunker, the volcano disaster ended and society got itself busy constructing some futuristic looking buildings, giving rise to Neo Tilted. Only OGs can remember Tilted Towers? Ha! <laughs> Get good, son! Only OGs remember when people cared about this game's campaign mode and that was never. Onward to season nine, almost. Because before we dive too much into this new season, if you didn't notice that trailer contained a major time skip that invites a lot of questions. Did Jonesy really survive for that long by, we assume, eating Peely? How long were they really in that bunker? Could that amount of banana, banana man, sustain him for that amount of time? Can man survive on Peely alone? All that and more on today's very appealing episode of Game Theory. Let's begin. First off, to answer the question of could Jonesy survive for that long, we need to clarify just how long we're talking about here. Special thanks to Redditor the Dude in the Lab Coat for bringing this up on the Game Theorist subreddit, and also to Reddit user SnooSnoo420, who's already done some calculations based on the length of Jonesy's beard. SnooSnoo420 in his post concluded that based on the average rate of hair growth and the length of Jonesy's beard, he would have been down there for eight years, five months, and five days. Now, those calculations were done using the average rate of hair growth, which is one half inch per month or six inches per year. And if Snooze Snoo hadn't already done this online, this is exactly the sort of methodology that I myself would be using for this episode. However, since he's already done the work, let me take it another step further. Maybe Jonesy's hair growth rate is above average. I mean, we want to see whether surviving for that long would be possible, so let's take the best case scenario here and assume that Jonesy's hair actually grows at a world record pace, thereby allowing him to grow that much beard in substantially less time than eight full years. If we're talking world record rates of hair growth, well, there's only one source that I trust, and that is the Guinness Book of World Records, because who better to keep track of this sort of information than an Irish beer company? And uh, no, that's not a joke. The Guinness of Guinness Book of World Records fame is actually the same Guinness as the beer company. Guinness. Cue the more you know rainbow. Anyway, world record hair growth would be 17 inches per year. Growing at that rate, Jonesy's length of beard growth would take just under three years to grow. Two years, 11 months, and 22 days if you want to be exact about it. Which we do! So the question is, does eating Peely, a giant human-sized banana, actually
actually give Jonesy enough food to survive for three full years. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, hold on, sorry. Let me get this. Banana phone. Yeah, what's up? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my shirt. What, where'd I get it? Oh, it's, it's some of the new Game Theory Spring merch that's available right now. Yeah, there's this awesome embroidered player jacket, which has thumb holes, which are awesome. Oh, there's a color-changing light, which looks great on any desk. And there's shirts like this one. Yeah, I designed it so it's asymmetric, which is not only fashionable and makes you look thinner, but it's also really cool and trendy right now. And you can still show your theorist pride. W where do you get it? Oh, that's easy. Below, right next to the subscribe button. You know, the button that you push and ring in order to get notified of all our new videos. Yeah, a lot of useful links right there. Yeah, it was good talking to you too. Call me back anytime. Yep, except hopefully not when I'm filming. This little shilly bit has uh, gone on long enough. I gotta get back to the episode. Thanks a lot. Bye. I am so sorry about that. Where was I? Um. Oh yeah, eating a human-sized banana and trying to survive for three years. So for a six-foot-tall guy like Jonesy here, he'd typically be eating around 2,000 to 2,300 calories per day to maintain his weight. But he's going to have to tighten his belt a bit if he wants to be the sole survivor in this case. People do survive on less, with a true starvation diet being around 900 calories a day. Now, in actuality, Jonesy here is probably eating a lot more calories than 900, given that when we see him walk out of the bunker, he's still looking pretty swole, but again, we're gonna be taking the most optimistic numbers possible and assume that he's able to survive full-on starvation mode, eating a mere 900 calories a day. So, based on that diet, would eating Peely give him enough food to survive for nearly three years? Let's take a look at Peely. Shall we? If we treat Peely like a six-foot banana, which, based on his in-game model, he does appear to be, he would weigh in at about 200 pounds. As such, his body would contain about as much banana matter as 769 medium bananas. And yeah, medium banana is an official size designation used by food distributors to describe a banana that's between seven and eight inches in length. Seven to eight inches? Yikes. An average medium banana contains 105 calories, meaning that a six-foot banana man would contain himself 80,724 calories. From there, it's an easy division problem. If Jonesy starts chipping away at that 80,724 calorie stockpile at a rate of 900 calories a day, he's gonna run out of food before the end of day 90. That is less than three months after his stay begins. And with no food left, he would maybe survive another three to four weeks before he totally starves to death. That three months of food is a far cry from the three years of food that we calculated that he needs to wait it out. Now, of course, there is a more morbid possibility here. While Peely is shown in the trailer to have the appearance of a sentient banana who's capable of smiling at you even after 99% of his body has been drunk into oblivion, Peely was originally introduced to be an outfit, just like any other outfit in Fortnite. Maybe the Peely that Jonesy is trapped with here is really just a dude in a banana suit. If that's the case, well, it means that Jonesy is no longer getting his nutrition from banana flesh, but rather human flesh. So if Jonesy is going full-on cannibal in that bunker, fully grown human would provide him 81,500 calories, which shockingly is barely more than the 80,724 calories of the giant banana man banana Peely. Regardless of whether Peely is more banana or more man, Jonesy is gonna be running out of stuff to eat in like three months. But what if Peely is neither banana nor man? What if He's some kind of incredible superfood, a being composed of pure nutritional energy who just so happens to look like a banana. It sounds completely absurd, but if there's one thing that Game Theory stands for, it's FNAF. But if there are two things that Game Theory stands for, it's FNAF and thoroughness. So let's look into it, shall we? The single highest calorie dense food in existence is pure fat. Nothing is gonna have more calories than fat, which makes sense when you think about it, considering that fat is our body's way of storing energy for future use. So as far as our body is concerned, that tubby tummy of yours is just pure energy waiting to be used. So pure fat has nine calories per gram, which is a huge number. And it means that a 200 pound Peely made of pure <gasps> fat would have itself 816,466 calories inside of that peel of his. Enough to last Jonesy a whopping two years 
five months and 25 days. Nearly two and a half years, but we're still running out of food and starving to death half a year before that bunker opens. So close, and yet so far. And remember, all of this is with our most optimistic estimates for how long Jonesy needs to survive, and also how many calories he's able to survive on. It seems like any way you slice it, Jonesy cannot survive on Peely alone, regardless of whether Peely's made out of flesh, fat, or fruit. But maybe we're asking the wrong question here. Maybe Jonesy doesn't have to survive on Peely alone. There is another possibility here that we haven't considered yet. If Peely is, for all intents and purposes, a banana, well, that would mean that he'd be full of banana seeds. Yes, bananas do in fact have seeds. If you've ever cut one lengthwise, or you looked at the exact middle, you've probably recognized these small little brown dots. Those, my friends, are banana seeds. Don't worry, they're completely edible. Which, I assume you know already, since you've probably eaten a banana and you presumably have not died. So, since we've got ourselves some seeds, can we grow a banana tree in an underground bunker? Trick question, bananas don't grow on trees. Even though some banana plants can grow 30 feet in height, they're still not classified as trees. While they do appear to have a trunk, that trunk that you see is really what's known as a pseudostem, which, in terms of composition, is just a bunch of densely packed leaves. Bananas are are actually a perennial herb like a lily or an orchid. By the way, all this banana knowledge comes from an article written by Ken Jennings. You know, the guy who's famous for having the longest Jeopardy winning streak of all time. So you know it's coming from a source you can trust. And according to Ken, quote, technically the banana fruit is the berry of the plant. It may not look much like one, but it contains seeds and pulp from a single ovary, so it's often classified as an epigenous berry. A berry. Anyway, like other herbs, banana plants can indeed be grown in artificial light. And because of that, Jonesy now has access to an unlimited renewable food source, his banana plantation. He's just like the stranded astronaut Mark Watney in The Martian. He can now unleash his botany powers to produce a whole crop of bananas. Mars will come to fear my botany powers. But not so fast. In The Martian, Mark Watney was eating potatoes, which could allow him to survive because they were nutritionally complete, as we discussed in an episode of Film Theory about The Martian and its poop-filled science. But can bananas do the same? Are bananas able to provide a nutritionally complete diet? Well, luckily, bananas provide plenty of vitamin C. Just six bananas a day will allow him to reach his daily recommended allotment of vitamin C, meaning that Jonesy doesn't have to worry about getting scurvy. Bananas are also an excellent source of iodine, meaning that he won't have to deal with any any unsightly goiters. So that's two of the most common vitamin deficiencies accounted for, but unfortunately bananas can't provide everything. A lack of iron in Jonesy's diet would lead to problems like anemia, which would likely leave him feeling tired all the time as his body couldn't produce enough red blood cells. He'd probably have to cut out all his exercise programs, which, let's face it, he'd already be doing if he wanted to reduce the amount of calories that he's burning per day. But while that kind of vitamin deficiency could cause health problems, they're the kinds of things that Jonesy could indeed survive, especially since a weakened immune system shouldn't be too much of a problem when you're isolated alone in an underground bunker where hopefully there aren't too many other pathogens. So, full steam ahead on that banana farm, Jonesy. All you gotta do is slice open your pal Peely, rip out some of his seeds, plant them, give them ample light, turn up the heat to near tropical levels, and then wait six months for your first batch of bananas to grow. Wait a minute, six months? six months for the first harvest to come in. That is three full months after we calculated that he would run out of his initial food supply. As it turns out, yeah. Again, no matter what way you slice it, Jonesy is dying of starvation. And again, that is taking the most optimistic numbers possible, including a warm tropical environment and a banana plantation that is grown with seeds that were genetically engineered by food companies to produce a crop as quickly as possible. I mean, if you try to grow a banana plant in your backyard, it's probably going to take you closer to 10 to 15 months for the plant to produce an edible fruit. Even if Jonesy's willing to eat those bananas when they're green and not fully ripe, he is still not getting access 
access to those things any earlier than the five month mark. And remember, our initial calculations have him running out of food three months in and starving to death a couple weeks after that, before the four month mark. The first crop of bananas would only be halfway grown by the time Jonesy bit the big one. Even in the best of best possible scenarios, there is no way that Jonesy is getting out of this without starving to death. Except, clearly he did, according to the trailer. Which means only one of two things, my friends. It either means that the future came a whole lot earlier than we expected, in like three months, and that's when they built Neo Tilted, which is just weird. Or two, that Jonesy found himself another food supply. In which case, what are you doing, buddy? Why are you eating your pal Peely over here? Even after you turn him into a banana smoothie, and he's just a few sips away from death by digestion, he is still managing to smile. That, my friend, that is friendship. A very abusive, one-sided kind of friendship, and you should be ashamed, Jonesy. And that is all I have to say to you. I have one thing to say to Epic, though. Bring back the pump. But hey, you know how so many Fortnite YouTubers do fake giveaways of free V-Bucks? Well, first off, gross, hold yourself to higher standards, you shills. But secondly, wasn't it Lao Tzu who said, give a man a V-Buck and he can buy a skin? Teach a man how to save money and you give him V-Bucks for a lifetime? Well, that's what I plan to do today with the help of our sponsor, Honey, which is a free tool that you download into your browser and it saves you money with literally zero effort, allowing you to spend more cash on V-Bucks or heck, more bananas for your doomsday bunker so you don't have to resort to eating your own friend. Honey will actually probably save you money on that food too, considering that it works on over 20,000 websites from Amazon to GameStop to Pizza Hut. And you don't have to listen to me. Instead, you can listen to viewers like you who decided to listen to me. Quote, I discovered Honey through MatPat, and I think that Honey is amazing. I use it for everything. Flights, cosplay supplies, G Fuel. I couldn't recommend this extension anymore. I was gonna make a G Fuel joke, and then I realized that I'm addicted to Diet Coke, so those living in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Or is it pots calling kettles black? Or there's this person who also rated it a 5 out of 5. Quote again, OMG, I love honey. It is the best thing that ever existed. Thank you, MatPat, for suggesting this. MatPat is short for Matthew Patrick, who runs Game Theory, Film Theory, and GT Live. Thank you, reviewer, for clarifying who I am. I <laughs> I love that that's an official review. Anyway, it sounds like it should be too good to be true, right? Free money? What offers you free money these days? Where's the catch? Well, honestly, there isn't one. Basically, the way it works is that when Honey finds you a coupon code that you end up using, Honey earns themselves a small commission from the seller. So you save money, and the store sells their product, and as thanks for helping sell their product, they give Honey a little bit of a boost. Everyone wins. There is absolutely no reason not to join the 10 million other people who are already already saving money with the help of Honey. All it takes is just two clicks. Click number one, the link in the description, joinhoney.com slash matpat, and click number two, install. It is that easy. Don't take it from me, take it from my subscribers. And who knows, your review might wind up in an episode just like this one. That's joinhoney.com slash matpat. Every day that you're not using it is a day of you wasting money. It's just a fact of the matter. So commence the money saving right now. And remember, it's all just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching.